Welcome to the party, got talent season two. Rate it out for the next superstar. Up next. next, next, next. In ancient Greece, seven men were known for their wisdom, and they always advised the nation out of issues. I am the eighth sage. If I was president, my first official act would be to issue an executive order. Prayer shall cease to be said at formal functions with public borders. Because whilst we may be the most religious nation on the globe, just being religious hasn't taught us the best way to go. Because look, as a Christian, whenever I implore, in the name of Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God, crucified, resurrected, born of paradise beyond, Muslims believe on this truth that my faith is flawed. But my representative, please stand on this belief. So when we pray, there's a clock. This disagreement is fundamental. These are creeds transposed. So let's admit, though we plainly do this, both our souls could be closed. And some would say, when we pray, we talk to the same God, yet we worship him differently. Don't you think that's odd? And though we pray together, we could still have a mutual hate in our hearts. Especially when members of the other side's public officials don't play their parts. Or when they offer undue advantage to those of same religious heart. So ending this deception will be the best place for us all to start. Yes, I believe in the freedom of religion. Let everyone practice theirs. But do it in private. Eh? Bring only your good worship into the public sphere. Because prayer in public places suddenly brings our differences to bear. True religion should simply help you make the world a better place. Should ensure you adhere to the laws of the land. Create a joyful space. This is the law that should inspire, light up the face. Because taking a trip to a holy land doesn't necessarily make you my neighbor. You return at JP's and IG's Think about that is a lovely spirit. Perpetually seizing the citizens' lives so they have nothing left to say for. So I'll see my down here and now without any fear or favor. I'm going to roast the expedition missions without much labor. These icons that live and yet conceal the amoral taste. Should the Commonwealth be used to sponsor unworldly waste? Because Decima declares us a worldly and mundane state. So commonality shouldn't be used to sponsor sacred galore. And I understand both enterprises are backed by law, but don't worry, I'll be very creative when I'm throwing them out the door. As a head of state, now, as a head of state, now, I love you all too much to ever abdicate, so one unknown to us can decide our collective fate. One that bestows upon itself dual capacity, a national honor confirmed without confirming the veracity, claiming to be divine but just full of humanity. Look, the projection of demigods in our politics hinders the institution of political values positive. Besides, we don't even cross check before assigning designations. A godfather is also the head of a criminal organization, so what else would you expect with such a faulty denomination? Let's separate the power of God from what fathers ought to do. Don't buy the lies demons and spirits brought to you. We must break the hold of what evil has always sought to do because fellow Nigerians, this, this isn't a household. So the sanctity of the Ozoloom shouldn't be wrongly invoked. Next. 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 Next.